Come on, you mean to tell me that cancer is going to die when you eat a salad? Well, yes, but it's not exactly what you think. Hey, Dr. Amy here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how this salad is actually perfect for preventing or fighting cancer. So whether you've just been diagnosed in cancer treatment, or even if you're trying to just prevent cancer from happening, this video is for you. I've linked up the full recipe in the description below. You can get the full recipe there. But each specific ingredient plays a really important role. So if you wanna know why I've included each ingredient and how to substitute out ingredients that you don't like, then I'll go through each of these in detail. I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. Plus at the very end, I'm gonna show you my favorite cancer fighting dessert. This is what you should be eating after the salad. And yes, I said cancer fighting dessert. Stick around for that. After going through chemo and fighting off cancer, our bodies are really changed and your diet should change too. We need to think differently about the foods we put into our body to help us stay cancer free. But it's also more than that. Our food also really helps to diminish the long lasting effects of cancer or cancer treatment. I'm talking about exhaustion, joint pain, and the biggest one, the fear of a cancer recurrence. I'm gonna show you how a lunch backed by science can help you stay worry free. You'll know you're doing everything you can to be the healthiest version of yourself. The key thing Thing to remember when focusing on lunches is what to include. I love making a big salad filled with protein and veggies. I tend to avoid a lot of carbohydrates in the middle of the day because that is really detrimental to my energy and gives me that afternoon slump. So if you're navigating low energy after cancer, this is a good one for you. Let's dive into making this anti-cancer salad. It's packed with protein, berries, plus my favorite cancer fighting ingredient. First, I want you to get your ingredients and containers organized. I take out a few containers and divide up this recipe between them. That way I can pop them in the fridge and just pull them out whenever I need a quick lunch. If I'm headed to work or if lunch rolls around, it's an easy fix. Okay, and this really couldn't be any easier. To start it off, we have four boneless chicken breasts. I keep the seasoning simple, just salt and pepper. After going through cancer and cancer treatment, our healthy cells are actually damaged from that treatment. So it's crucial that we consume enough protein to get the required amino acids to repair and rebuild those healthy cells. Chicken or protein also helps us to feel full, and this is gonna reduce the need to snack later in the day. You can easily fall into that trap of later in the afternoon looking for something sweet. And you may be wondering, is chicken safe for cancer survivors, and it absolutely is. There has never been any research linking white meat, so poultry or fish, to cancer. And in some cases, like with colorectal cancer, it actually lowers the risk of cancer recurrence. White meat is really safe and a very healthy choice for an anti-cancer salad. Now the base of our salad will be a really leafy green. Spinach. Spinach is filled with antioxidants and vitamins. This is where we start building out those cancer fighting ingredients. When we say that cancer dies when you eat this salad, well, that's actually quite true. Every day our body is producing free radicals. They form in response to our environment, our movement, our food. It's a natural part of being alive as a human. Now, normally antioxidants work to neutralize free radicals. That way, no harm is done. But if free radicals get out of control, then that's when cancer can form. This is where your food, and more specifically, this salad comes into play. The food you eat either fuels your cancer or it fights it you get to decide which one. We're using these ingredients in this salad really specifically, so you get a variety of antioxidants, so we can give you the best shot of fighting off the most free radicals and helping you to stay cancer free. As a cancer survivor, your body has just gone under a lot of oxidative stress. The stress really depletes your body of those antioxidants. That's why it's really important that we make sure we consume foods that are high in antioxidants to fight off those free radicals. It's gonna give your immune system the boost it needs and help prevent a cancer recurrence. Spinach is a great start for the base. Then we'll add one cup of raspberries, but divide it between each of the containers. Raspberries are packed with antioxidants and are the perfect anti-cancer ingredient. A very different color from spinach, which is a good indicator that it's gonna have very different antioxidants which it does. Raspberries were a savior for a breast cancer survivor that I work with in the Cancer Freedom Program. She was really struggling to get enough fiber in her diet and raspberries are low in carbohydrates, but high in fiber. Once we started adding these into her daily routine, she was able to bring her fiber up, but keep her carbohydrates down. Now you may have heard that you should avoid antioxidants 
during your cancer treatment. So I don't want you to be confused by this and let me show you why food is different. A study showed that breast cancer survivors who took antioxidants during their cancer treatment, well, they actually had a higher risk of a breast cancer recurrence or death because of breast cancer. But they were taking supplements and supplements have a much higher dose than what you would ever find in your food. The amount of antioxidants that you'll get through your food or even through this salad are very safe during your cancer treatment. So don't be afraid to eat a variety of antioxidant sources during your own treatment. Okay, so the next ingredient is high in fiber and fiber is something cancer survivors definitely need. Communities and cultures that eat a higher amount of fiber, well, they actually have lower cancer rates. So it's important to be really diligent about adding fiber to your meals to make sure that you lower the risk of cancer or cancer recurrence. Okay, and the fiber filled ingredient, it's actually strawberries. We'll cut these strawberries in half and add them throughout the salad. Now, it should go without saying that your produce needs to be washed and cleaned thoroughly, but just in case, I'll say it here, wash your produce. Okay, but moving on to our cheese and all great salads have cheese. Right? So today we're gonna include two thirds of a cup of goat cheese. Goat cheese is a great option because it surprisingly has less fat than most other cheeses. When we opt for low fat goat cheese, we actually make this salad really tasty, but we keep the calories in check. Not to mention that dairy is also a great source of protein and we're gonna be boosting up the protein further with this goat cheese. Okay, and next we need to add in some crunch. I love adding in a nut or something crunchy into a salad to really keep the texture interesting. So in this salad, we're gonna add in three tablespoons of chopped pecans. Pecans have healthy fat, fiber, and antioxidants. They're also a great source of calcium, which is what our body needs. After treatment, sometimes your bones can become weak and they're in need of support. Ensuring you consume enough calcium can help support your bone health and keep your bones strong. This is going to prevent any injuries that are associated with having weak bones. And for our dressing, we're going to opt for a raspberry vinaigrette. To make this dressing, I want you to mix one and a half cups of raspberries with some olive oil. Then add in a quarter of a cup of red wine vinegar and one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Sprinkle with salt and mix it up. I love this dressing for cancer survivors because it's packed with so much flavor. If your appetite is low after cancer or your taste has changed, then this dressing will definitely help. The raspberries have this tart sweetness and the vinegar is such a strong flavor. Plus then you add in the Dijon mustard. Well, they're all healthy ingredients and it's going to add a big flavor punch. This dressing definitely helped me during my own cancer treatment. Such strong flavors. It finally woke up my taste buds and I could finally eat some food. Okay. But hey, one thing I definitely need in my day is efficiency. I'm busy, I'm a mom, I have work. And making meals, it can be really time consuming. I don't have the time for complex recipes or strange ingredients. It also needs to taste delicious. And I know how it can feel to be busy and pulled in so many different directions that it's easy just to skip lunch. Or you get takeout because it's quick and it's easy. But let me tell you, this quick and easy meal prep salad it's not only gonna be fast and delicious, but it's gonna help you fight cancer. So with these recipes, you just need a little bit of time to prep for the week and then you're set. You can completely avoid skipping meals or opting for unhealthy versions. Not to mention that this salad is so delicious, you're gonna look forward to it. Having the knowledge on what to include in your meals to help fight cancer, well, that's gonna set you up for success. I've helped a ton of women who have had to navigate treatment and cancer recovery. I've helped with all the typical post-cancer symptoms. Over and over, women are left feeling confused by the research and articles that they come in contact with. There's claims of what can cure cancer and what can help you recover, and there's so much conflicting information. Or the feeling of not even knowing where to look for help or who to ask. I can tell you that I have personally been there. You should not have to feel like this and starting with this lunch recipe is definitely gonna help you. And you now know exactly what to do. Okay, so now that you know all about the anti-cancer salad, the next thing you need to know is what's for dessert. That's why I'm linking up this next video here on the best cancer fighting dessert. This is my all time most popular recipe. Click the link here, I'll see you in the next video.